Hello to one and all. My name is Victor Halthorpe. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. It's been one entire year today that I've been using the Ketone IQs on a daily basis as a professional athlete. I decided that was a good occasion to give a very honest and full review of the ketones and also the effect that I felt using the ketones. Now, if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I'm Victor Halthorpe. I'm a professional speed skater and a dietitian. I've been to two Olympics, ranked fifth in one of them, and I'm a World Cup medalist. And one thing I really enjoy is basically biohacking, looking into supplements, obviously as a dietitian. This is a thing that I found super interesting, especially as the latest studies showed that it had more of a benefit than I actually thought it would in not just ultra endurance sports, but everything down to sprint efforts. Now, so coming across these studies, I decided to reach out to my own Danish Olympic committee and ask if there was anything to it. They recommended I tried it out and they recommended that I reached out to HVMN as they are the leading brand in the business. I did so, they gave me a few samples and I tried them out for two weeks for a start where I noted down everything. Cool thing is that I've been using the Ultra Human for years or the Whoop device um, and tracked basically every number you can. I have my wattage data from all my bike rides going more than 10 years back, including physical testing that I've been doing every quarter of the year. Now that has allowed me to gather so much data that I could use now after taking the ketones in order to make a good comparison, not just subjectively what I felt, definitely didn't like the taste, so that wouldn't be a good idea, but objectively as well, where I could compare these data and these numbers before and after. So the different numbers, obviously my lap times, my results on the ice, they have been wild this year. I broke my national record in the 1500 meter, the 3K, the lowland 5K and the lowland 10K. And on top of this, I broke my personal best in all the distances, which is pretty incredible. Now, obviously one could argue that there's so many different things that could influence those results, which is why I tried to really isolate my use of the ketones and not change any other supplements or any other training protocols or routines as I was carrying out these tests. So in those initial two first weeks, I tracked my wattage, my average wattage, and compared that to my average heart rate and try to really, really, really make some simultaneously training weeks where I had the same recovery numbers going into them. I also tracked my sleep and especially my HRV. I think in a lot of sports, especially skating, where motion or movement patterns are really crucial and the neuromuscular system uh, is very, very important. I, I do find that to be a very important number to track. The resting heart rate as well and then just my overall feeling at the end of the week. Keep my Sundays off in the summer to recuperate and that's where I really feel like where am I at here. So in those two first weeks the first thing that I really noticed is that right off the bat when you take the ketone shot you do get some mental clearance. It's hard to explain if you haven't tried it yet um, but it's a little bit like an espresso shot or um, really just like if you're low on blood sugar, which makes a lot of sense because this is a, a source of energy that we're naturally low on. Uh, we don't have ketones unless we are starving ourselves in order to develop them, which is why this is super handy that you can just supply with the ketones. So in that way, it does feel a little bit like you're out of blood sugar or your blood sugar is low and then you refuel and then suddenly you feel that rush. So that is a mental Part of it that I really like, obviously that's subjective, but this is a thing that's very common from people that do take ketones, that they feel this mental sort of clarity right away. And then after the two weeks, obviously I've showed my test results here on YouTube. They were remarkably improved to the point where that could not just be good luck or having two good weeks. Compared to the previous multiple years of wattage, I reached my highest aerobic wattage in the two weeks where I was using the ketones, also had my lowest uh, resting heart rate and my highest HRV all in those two weeks, even though I did not change anything training routine wise, which is pretty incredible. I was a little skeptical because you got to be, there's so many supplements out there. And to be honest, few of them, I mean, lots of them work, but few of them have that cutting edge that'll make them something different than, you know, the other multivitamins. Uh, this one did, I promise you that. So uh, there's a 30% discount on your first month subscription. Uh, if you click on that link below or use my code, as you'll find in the description. Now, as you can hear right now, I am promoting the HVMN because after these two first weeks, I literally called them up and said, I want to be in on this. How can I be sponsored by Ketones? How can I be sponsored by HVMN? Because I need to use these up until the next Olympics because they do make a difference. And I simply just joined the club of Sam Letlow, the world champion in triathlon. I joined 
the club of Jumbo Visma, the tour winning bike team, because they are also on ketones. The US Army is on ketones, pretty incredible, but also makes a lot of sense because without diving too far into the scientific part of it, I've made previous videos on that, that you should check out on my channel. It is really just an energy source ketones that we can naturally develop, but with an unnatural diet where we limit carbohydrates and general food intake in order to produce these ketones as a reserve in our body. However, to do that, you lack carbohydrates, which is the body's main preferred fuel for heart exercise. However, you can supply with these without having to go through all that, that entire process first. And then you have these to back up your carbohydrates so you can spare those for when it really matters. Now, right now is a pretty sweet time for me because I just ended my speed skating season to look back at that entire 365 days on the ketones. I just finished the world championships with my best low lane 5,000 meter time, my best low lane 500 meter time and 1,500 meter time. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Finished 14th in the 5K and had an eight place at a World Cup this year, which I cannot complain about. But one thing that really surprised me is that I found an improvement in my sprints. I broke my personal best in even the 500 meter distance, something that I don't train that much and that I'm genetically definitely not suited for, and which initially the, the ketones wouldn't really matter for, because when doing sprint efforts, you do not rely on ketones. This is a bag of fuels for your carbohydrates or your glycogen storage, so why would that make a difference? And talking to the scientists, seeing the latest studies on it, Lab Mantra here from HVMM gave me tons of insight on how they actually function. It is not so much that that would help you in the race. However, I felt in my workouts that I can do more repeated efforts. And maybe it's just the fact that during my warm up, I do warm up intensely for a sprint race. I can simply just save some of my energy, some of those glycogen storage that I need for the actual race. And again, if you can train better, just a little bit, do five sets in, instead of four every day, well, ultimately you're gonna become a better athlete. And I do believe that is the main reason why Ketone IQ has worked for me over the last 365 days. So the most recent study on ketones is actually where runners um, did a five kilometer run to exhaustion. And then after that, they hopped on a bike and they did six second sprints full output, maximum wattage. And they measured not just the average wattage, but the peak wattage of each of these sprints, which again, would not be what you would assume to take ketones for, but they improved the power output, the maximum power as well for all of these sprints, simply because they had not used as much of those carbohydrate, um, the available carbohydrate, as they did the runs before and the previous Wingate sprints. And I do believe that's why this also makes sense in short efforts because you can simply just have a little left for the next set and so on and so on and so on. Which brings me to the next point that looking back at three at the previous 365 days, the previous season, it is also the season in my entire career where I have skated the most laps on the ice. Again, I do believe HM and ketones, they do have a play in this. You can take them for yourself and then you can see how exhausted you will be. The cool thing is they do, well, the immediate response your body will have is like, what, that did not taste good. But after that, you will find that already in a first workout, you can definitely feel the difference. You can feel them at the end of a long bike ride when you take a shot. I do use them about every hour for long bike rides. Made a previous video on how to use them, but that is also one of the ways where I felt a pretty massive difference. Now, the third thing, in addition to the mental clarity and the immediate effect is the long-term effect of ketones. One that took me months to really realize and also to really measure. Obviously, it made sense that I felt it right away because taking these, my workouts became easier or I could do more. So either I would improve because of better skating, more skating, or because I was fresher. But the long-term effect of the ketones is one that I really only discovered later on here going through the entire season is simply just that response to the long-term recovery, the generally in average, I mean, I'm, again, I'm tracking everything. So I could see the HRV average for these 365 days is higher than it's ever been for me, which is crazy because I've been training a lot at altitude. Now looking at that, I think that's super interesting because obviously the neuromuscular system is easy to overtrain, especially when you try and train as hard as possible. You've got the Olympics coming up and there's a lot of people out there that also want to train hard. So it's not an easy game, but being able to recover better, fully recover, um, just simply on a day-to-day -day basis on my recovery days after long flights, long workouts, I do think that's where the ketones can really kick in. So using these regularly is definitely key. I am very excited to hear 
If any of you have tried out the ketones, please do let me know in the comment section below. I love hearing about these stories. I love hearing about different ways that I may not have thought about that help people out using these. Um, more importantly, if you have any good ideas for what to mix it up with to get through the bad taste, I would also love to hear that. And I can't be the only one here in the community. I personally have tried with coffee and some different sodas, but all of it was not better than just taking a shot here. It is just a habit, so obviously I've gotten used to it. And I now take, I think an average like four of these every single day. And well, honest opinion, it does really help out. So try it. It is, trust me, it is cheap for how much it actually does. Um, so that is just my recommendation here. The review, 365 days. Like I said, I'm sponsored by HVMN, but you have my word that I tried it out and I was the one that realized what a massive difference it actually did before reaching out to them. And then ultimately having these guys on board for my current Olympic journey toward 2026. Hope you want to subscribe to this channel. Hope you liked this video as well as my other content. And uh, I just hope you want to stay tuned for more videos. Let me know if there's anything you would want me to address and uh, I shall do my best. For now, Thanks and uh, see you around. Still haven't gotten to the point where I can pretend like they taste good. <sighs> That's not that bad.